my father was a motor race journalist all his life. He had a passion for motorsport. And I remember when I went to Interlagos, I was five years old. I said, one day I, I want to be a, a Formula One driver. And that was in the back of my mind, I always want to be a Grand Prix driver. Uh, even start in Brazil, go-karting, small formulas. But I always say I wanted to be a Grand Prix driver. And then I had the opportunity, I worked very hard to, be, to go to England and start a Formula Ford series that was very economical. I had a very low budget. Um, I live in a pension house in Wimbledon. During the week I was a mechanic. <laughs> I had to win but I could not crash. <laughs> but was the dream, I think, when someone is motivated to have the dream in life for any sport is a fantastic feeling. And you have to work hard and you have to believe you're going to achieve. And then if you work hard, you can achieve with passion, with dedication, with a lot of work, uh, talent, and then you can achieve. You know, it was, it was incredible achievement of, after Formula One to go to American race, uh, the Indy 500 race, the championship. Because I remember when I, when I was a very young a boy in Brazil, I heard about Indi Indianapolis, but I always wanted the back of my mind. And then I said, one day I'd like to, to be in Indianapolis. I it was an incredible race. Um, I was dicing the last five laps with Olenza Jr., who is a very traditional American family. You know, the father, the grandfather won. And uh, three laps to go, we went the main straight side by side, I was on the inside line. And then we touch wheels, he hit the wall, he crashed, but thanks God he didn't got hurt. And that was my first win, that was incredible. I mean, it was, it was a very important moment on, on my career. I had one uh, mental a program that when I when I arrive at the paddock to go racing, I say I want to give myself 110 percent to my ability to drive fast a racing car, to enjoy the sport, but you could not think the risk of the sport. At that moment, only you have to be focused on performance. And if I would be thinking during the event for the crash or the risk of the sport, I should be watching TV. I never should be there. So I always say the three elements work together, mental, physical, and spiritual. And when you have the three elements working in harmony, you can perform at the high level. My, my first win was the US Grand Prix. I had a very high temperature. Colin Chapman coming to my room, the night before the race with a doctor and say, Emerson, how you feel? I say, I feel horrible. And then they give me injection. Next morning I wake up, but when I arrive at the track and I sit down in the car after three, four laps, I forgot the cold. And the adrenaline, the mental power, so powerful. I, had the, I raced with a high fever and I won my first Grand Prix. <laughs> That's how the man is any sport. And if the athlete's ready, mentally, physically, to dedicate that to the sport. You can perform on a much higher level than you expect.